Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 9, 2020, and I am going to be using Studio Calico's, I believe this is the Color Me Happy documenter kit. And I'm just going through the kit trying to find the right cards. Now I'm really loving this 4x6, but at the same time I feel like it's really loud. So I'm going to like set it aside and just kind of think about it and start choosing my three by fours. Now I'm loving the brush stroke card with the you are my sunshine, but I don't like it with the four by six card. So what I'm going to end up doing is actually going through my own stash and finding a four by six card that I like that matches the three by four cards that I want to use. And I do that a lot. You don't have to stick to just your kit. It's okay if you go through your own stash and just, you know, change it up a little bit. So you can see me here. I grabbed a bunch of my own four by sixes. I'm going through them. I end up finding a really cute one with a subtle like yellow strip on the side. I think it's perfect because I can use it to add my journaling and stamp out my week. So I'm going to go for it and it matches the brush stroke three by four card really, really well. Now you can see me kind of still going through my three by fours. I'm not sure which one I want to use, but I will end up using the white three by four card with the circle because I have something in mind. I'm going to start working on my layout. I will start with my title card. I grabbed my citrus twist week stamp set and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp week on the side. I think I also grab another stamp from that stamp set. That probably says like we can review or this week or something like that I can't even remember but I'm gonna stamp that right above week I will grab my feed your craft I think this is the Aurora alpha stamp and I'm gonna stamp 09 for week 9 then I will take this to my typewriter oh no hold on before I take this to my typewriter I decide that I want to stamp a little something on my card and I grabbed the stamp set from the kit, stamped the little circle right at the corner, and then I'm gonna take this to my typewriter and add my journaling. Now I just kind of talked about my father turning 80 this week, uh, my son's senior photos coming in, just little things like that, but um, I still want to kind of focus that it was my father's 80th birthday, so I decided to use these large number stamps from Studio Calico to stamp out 80. I thought I would use some black ink, but right before I stamp it, I decide, you know what, actually I wanna bring in more of that yellow from my title card. So I'm gonna stamp it out in this beautiful yellow ink from scrapbook.com and just add that right in the center of my circle. So I'm gonna stamp 80 in the center. I also have a beautiful stamp set from Everyday Explorer that I've shared, I believe, last week. And it's all about celebration. So it was perfect to use that to add a little something to my card. Now, at first I thought I was gonna stamp it directly on my photo. Oh no, not my photo, my card. But I was worried that it's going to ruin it. And it's all in black ink and it's like solid black. So I thought, I'm going to stamp it on some white paper, trim it out, and then decide where I'm going to add it on my card. And I'm so happy I did that because if I had put it in the center like I thought I was going to do, the 80 would look like 00. zero. So I end up just adding it to the bottom of my 80 and I really like how it looks. Just to add a little something, I'm going to grab a puffy sticker and add that right above my 80. End up using one of my feature craft puffy hearts and call my three by four card done. I have this beautiful picture of my father with my kids. So I grabbed the chipboards from the kit and I'm just gonna end up adding that pink banner right above or in the corner of my photo. And I like that circle as well. And I thought, you know what, that would probably look good with the family photo uh, up in the corner. And I have this like the chandelier in the photo is kind of annoying. So I just added the circle right in the center and it covered up that chandelier. So I like how that one looks. I will use that stamp set from Everyday Explorer again to stamp congratulations, you did it 
on my son's photo here. I'm just going to stamp it directly on my photo. I thought first I would probably add a label, but I don't want to take away from his photo. So just stamping it directly on the photo looks so much better. So I have this photo that I've already documented in my traveler's notebook, but you guys know me, I will document a photo in my project life and my traveler's notebook. Um, if it's a story, if there's a story behind it or it's important for the week, I will document it in both. But I'm going to be using Kelly Perky's very, very old stamp set. It's called Give Me a Break. I love the stamp set. It has like a lot of snarky words and things. So I end up stamping You're Killing Me Smalls and Give Me a Break. And I will also just add a little embellishment right above it. I love Studio Calico's chipboards, um, so I like to use them as much as I can. So I'm going to end up grabbing a chipboard and just stamping moments right in the center of the blue chipboard and adding that right above my stamping just to add a little something other than just stamping. Um, I like to do that every once in a while. I think it adds a lot of texture. And it's a great way to use your stash. So I'm just going to end up adding that right above my stamping and calling this done. So I really, really like this 3x4 card with the brush strokes, but I wanted to add some texture to it. So what I thought I would do was use my puffy stickers and match them with the brush strokes. It's just going to add some texture to my 3x4 card. And I just love that look very, very much. So I end up adding plus signs, puffy hearts, whatever matched, I used it. And you can see that simple like add-on really made this card pop. It's always the little things, you guys. But anyways, I'm going to finish up my spread by going back into my embellishments from the kit and adding some word stickers in this really pretty blue to my title card just because I wanted to bring in some of the blue from the bottom of my spread to the top and then I call my layout done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!